What is quantum biology and how can we apply it to our health? Let's dive into this one. Quantum biology really got its start at the same time as quantum physics in the early 1900s. It was Erwin Schrödinger's book, What is Life?, that first put forth the idea that living systems utilize quantum phenomenon or quantum mechanics. Now, this was something that wasn't taken seriously for decades because the way researchers study quantum mechanics in a lab is that they look at things in a laboratory setting where the lab is cooled below absolute zero, where no life can exist. The laboratory is shielded from any noise or vibration that can disturb these delicate quantum mechanics. So the idea that living systems and life would be utilizing quantum mechanics was something that scientists didn't take seriously. But when you look at a living system, you realize that each cell in our body, for example, and we have trillions and trillions of cells, each cell in the body is completing over a hundred thousand tasks each second. Some scientists uh, posit that it's in the millions of tasks each second in the cell. And mathematically, using the traditional classical model, it is impossible mathematically to have that many reactions happening in a cell with the efficiency and speed needed. And that's where quantum biology comes in. It explains things that classical physics, classical biology just can't explain. And it was in the early 2000s with research out of UC Berkeley with uh, Graham Fleming and Greg Engel looking at how a photosynthetic cell takes a photon of light and gets it to the photoreactive center with almost 100% efficiency. And what they found was not only does it superimpose taking multiple pathways at one time, because of course a photon of light is a particle, it is a quanta of light that has the ability to work in a classical and in this quantum realm. The laws of quantum mechanics apply to a photon. So, of course, it was able to superimpose and take multiple paths to that photosynthetic reaction center. And what's more is those proteins, those thylakoid proteins in that cell were able to do what researchers call the quantum beat. They were able to act in coherence, the idea that two or more things work as one. And that quantum beat, that vibratory, they found that this quantum beat, the thylakoid proteins in that photosynthetic cell were able to act as a collective and create this vibratory field that allowed the photon of light to get to that photosynthetic reaction center with almost 100% efficiency. Absolutely incredible. Now, how would we apply this to our everyday health? Well, the idea in quantum biology being applied to our health is that we're looking at four different pillars. We're looking at how light, those photons of light, impact our biology. We're looking at how phonons from sound impact our biology. We're looking at frequency, frequency of an electrical field, magnetic field, electromagnetic field, scalar waves, how those all impact our smallest pieces of our biology, the flow of electrons and protons in the body, our proteins, our enzymes, and we see that the impact can be quite enormous. We're looking at how these four pillars impact our mitochondria, our DNA, our microtubules throughout our uh, brain throughout our fascial network, connecting every structure in the body. We're looking at how they impact our hormonal state, our inflammatory state, our capacity to heal. It's absolutely astounding 
once you start to dive into the impacts of these four pillars of quantum biology. And in the next four videos, I'll be breaking down how that quantum biological perspective of light, of sound, of water, and frequency impact our wellness and vitality. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe, press like, give me a comment or a question down below about how these pillars are at play in your life. And we will continue to tease apart this immense emerging field of quantum biology for health. We will be looking at light. We will be looking at the sound and effects of cymatics and how sound impacts our cells, our cellular water. We'll be diving into what our cellular water is like and how this backdrop of unique and ordered water throughout the body, this easy gel water throughout living systems acts as an antenna for this language of frequency throughout the body. We'll be talking about frequency of electricity and magnetism and how these things give rise to what we see on our lab values, on our symptom pictures, our state of health and wellness. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to walking you through this.